King Hezekiah's Resume Imagine a leader stepping in, and the first thing on his agenda is reform. That's King Hezekiah for you. In the annals of biblical history, he's heralded as a veritable luminary, and for several good reasons. Here's why he often gets five stars in the pantheon of Judah's kings. A reformist at heart Hezekiah took the throne around the age of 25, and he didn't waste time lounging about. Jerusalem during his ascendancy was spiritually chaotic, a little like Bourbon Street at 2 a.m. Idols were the hot thing, with everyone prostrating to this bronze statue or that wooden effigy. Hezekiah said enough's enough, and he took a wrecking ball to these idolatrous hotspots. He was the Jordan Peterson of his time, cleaning up the nation's proverbial room. Political fortitude Assyria was the big bad bully on the ancient Near East playground. They'd storm your borders, shake you down for cash, and make your people walk the plank. Hezekiah essentially told them, Not today, pal. He fortified Jerusalem, built up the walls, and stocked up on supplies. Classic underdog prepping for a siege. When the Assyrians came knocking under King Sennacherib, he didn't buckle under the pressure. He put his faith in wisdom and his divine hotline. Sure, he had to navigate some turbulent geopolitical waters, but his savvy kept the city from becoming a historical footnote. Economic savvy leaders often like to puff their chests about economic growth. Hezekiah could do that with sincerity. He wasn't just a pious guy. He had his economic game on. The Bible says he tightened up defense, rejigged the water supply for the city with a remarkable tunnel still celebrated today, and boosted agricultural productivity. It seems supply-side economics weren't lost on him. Spiritual Legacy We often judge leaders by their lasting impact. Hezekiah's religious reforms didn't just set a new status quo. They imprinted on the national psyche. This wasn't a sprinter's dash, but more like a grueling marathon for the soul of the nation. He restored the Passover, got the priests back in line, and flicked on the neon open-for-business sign at the temple. The real one, not some run-of-the-mill establishment. From Portland, Oregon, where we know a thing or two about shaking things up and doing our own thing, King Hezekiah's blend of spiritual renewal, political backbone, and economic reforms can hold a candle to the best tales of transformation. He might not have had a brew pub named after him or an indie film festival, but his legacy, leadership, and devotion are still talking points thousands of years on. Not bad for a millennia-old CV.